Hello and welcome to Zach from Overview TV, and yes, this is take two for Dodge Motor Drone. We were originally going to do a 60 lap shootout. Uh, they did not have an option for a 60, and I did not feel like editing it in the INI, &I, so we'll just say 10 laps were under caution, so we're doing a um, 50 lap run to the finish. Complete the other, well, we should have been 100 laps, but it'll be 90 laps. We'll do since we're shortening it. Come to find out the pace car had an aneurysm uh, that caused the game to crash. I don't know if you've seen it. It was at the final few frames of the last upload of the part one of this race. It was lap 41, and uh, someone pointed out in the comp comments, I believe it was Danny Johnson, he pointed out the time and what happened. And um, sure enough, pace car had an aneurysm. You might see the announcements in the Discord, but... Um, that is why the game crashed. I am a thousand. I'm pretty sure. If something else happened, uh, maybe. But Bruce knows why the game crashed. So, 36 cars um, were still running after that race. So laps down. Laps down has been forgiven. Now, granted, there's no way I can repeat the damage the cars had before. So therefore, the cars that had damaged. Um, no longer have damage, so they've been given a wave on that as well. The only cars that have not been given forgiveness have been the DNF. So the cars you see DNF'd in the last race will be DNF'd in the result, the final results of this race, and they are not going to be in this run here, which only has 36 cars. Got Dark X Rain with us. Um, you got any interesting things you want to point out before we get started? Well, besides the pace car going wild in the rain delay. We're ready to go back for part two of this race. Yep. And I went through the final scrolls of the ticker. Uh, even after the game crashed, the ticker was working in the video. So I went based off of that. That was, for the most part, accurate, I believe. And, um, and yes, it appeared Jeff Jeff Jordan, we knew he took the lead. And Gaming Freak had taken second place. So um, then we had uh, Doris Alameter take third. Now, one thing I do want to point out here is... I believe we were in here last year. I don't believe. I might be wrong. I don't know if anyone won here last year in a Dodge, but I don't believe a Dodge has won at this track. So, it's going to loom that over your head. The two highest running Dodges both. Uh, well, I'll take that back. There's Bradley Reem there. It'll, uh, I believe he's starting 10th, just based on my memory of putting in the positions when I was doing the save game editor. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Part-time driver Silas Wilmot did DNF in the first half of this event. So Silas Wilmot, or not Silas Wilmot, but Skylar Taylor, the only other part-time driver in this. Number 29, you might see that car there in the back of this shot. Um, that's a lot happened that last replay, or the last, say last replay. We had that crash with Patrick Miller, uh, I believe a few other cars that... Um, did not get a yellow, and those cars, unfortunately, were given a wave on damage and laps down. So, no really way I have to fixing of, of making that more fair. But as it stands, all 36 cars here have a good as chance as anybody to win this race, given the fact that they're in it with the same amount of um, advantage, other than track position. That is the only thing they were disadvantaged at. But Entirely based off our last save and the last roll of the ticker that we had before the game crash, which from what I understand is accurate to the last few positions before the game went kaplooey because the pace car had an aneurysm and went inside the wall. So, and interesting to note. Can't see if we've had that happen before, but uh, we're going to roll 50 laps here. It was not an option for 60, as uh, hopefully we don't have the game crash again. If it does crash again at this point, I'd call it. Uh, I doubt it would crash uh, shortly because that would suck. Uh, I'd have to get at least one scroll of the ticker. Otherwise, at that point, I just restart and just try again. So don't worry about it. And we're getting the call to engines here soon. Once again. Drivers, start your engines. Man's been given a uh, dark. You want to call the green here? Take it from here. As we're back on the... Uh, it's a restart at this rate. Most cars are damaged. I guess you can say they're up to the backup. 
and he hired the previous pace car driver at that for driving in between the walls. I'm pretty sure this is going to be on your highlight reel. As we are green at Dodge Metro Dome again. And already, car on the wall, Frank Shilton. And already, caution's out. Riley Reem appears to be slow on the bottom. Might have some issues there. And Frank Chilton does not appear to have issues. Car should be slowing up. And I uh, see some smoke wide, there. But... see some smoke there. Oh, it looks like a lethal mortar. Oh, Vince Freeze. Something happened here. I see oh, Cody, and I think there's... Oh, my Yoko. It's three, four wide. Well, that DNF list what just got bigger. You see it here, folks. Four yeah, wide right. on lap one of the restart at Dodge Motor Room. I went a bit as well as you would imagine. Like Holy moly. What a shot what there. What happened to Bradley Rain just to have him stack up like that? As we see you freeze yeah, we'll, your clothes on two wheels. Yeah, we'll take Next a look at that here. Next to Cody. Yeah, Cody. It looks like uh, Co uh, these guys are checking up because of the six and then had nowhere to go and... Lyle's involved. I might have to get well, those TV2 show. TV show shows a broader wow. perspective. Yoiko hits yeah, the pit wall. Like so does Vince Freeze. That's going to be his race. Is that Miller, oh. Paulus, and you see um... the six got a good bit there as well of Bradley Ream. Well, let's take a look and see why he was slow, though. That, that definitely causes checkup, is he? Oh, there's a bigger, bigger wreck off a of two. Let's go to uh, helicopter Frank for went up high. Yeah, Frank went high, and that caused this. And then the 17. But, 97. But got spun, and then, oh, the 97 got pushed into the pits. I'm hoping. So that might be the yeah. 53 also. When, yeah, that's why it stacked up. 28 was already. The 17, heavy. the 48 also is in it. I think Thrasher, all. I think survives by avoiding it. I believe. Uh, Didn't there, Shenard? There's Dark Green, Sunny Missy. I believe uh, all four uh, rail fan cars involved in something in this race. We'll quickly go to the roof cam of the 97, then we're going to have to go back to live because this is a short track and cautions don't take too long. All of yeah, so that's the guy that got pushed into pit road. I tell you what, he got real lucky there. Hit the wall, but he lives to see another day. So he's still in the race. Got some side damage. Real I lucky that what, that could have been much worse for him. Let's check our... Let's see, our list. We're going green this time. I would like to... Uh, Turn on uh, green white checkers, but unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it's going to be an option. So, those are one and only double fall restart. Reason why you could assume we'll go over cars out of the race in just a moment. 253 and 6 did go to pit road. Not sure if they're still in the race or not. Give Jordan going to lead us to the green once again. How are you on the first lap? Yep, good start there for Giff. We're back. And the DNF list yep. has updated. Now all four rail fan cars, I believe, are out of this race except for NH. The 53 Lyle Toledo, Daniel Pauls Jr., and uh, yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up. Frank Chilton appears to be having issues getting tight on entry. He's lost several spots in these past couple of restarts. Well, I say several spots, but he's lost spots in these last few restarts after getting up in the wall on entry. Other corners. Oh, and Gar Salamander up in the wall. Oh, they called Gar. Three wide. This car still issues from the last wreck. I mean, the last race. Yeah. He's getting a bit of a speed now, so he just went past uh, BG. Yeah, BGD in the 05. Wick Rare Racing showing some some something late here. I think I've seen some more three wide in the back. 24 able to clear the 60. Remember that 60 car has damage from that lap one accident. So far, we're green all the way through from that point. Oh, the 60 into the wall. We were talking about that damage. And caution's out. Joy paints. I've seen it off of that corner. I didn't quite get to it as quick as I'd like to. 
Surprisingly enough, not a lot of cars involved. Which is good for Joy Paints. Yeah, they went, they went four wide. Yeah, you seen the 60 get in the wall <laughs> there. Sean Ard, he got involved in the wreck. Unfortunately, you go, he got why that passes because damage. And as 59 came up in the 54, and no really for anyone to go. A great job by the rest of the field to avoid that. Yeah. Yeah, there's Tripsy. Yep, Drew had nowhere to go, The Thrasher was at the bottom. Yeah, and then Cody hit the wall, so four wide just not going to work, and there's a lot of momentum. This track's very momentum-based. Second half of this race appears to be a much more caution field. Uh, the DNF list does not change, as that was a very, very less, less severe wreck. Of course, that lap one crash was very hey. severe. I'm amazed that 51 car is still in this race after hitting that wall. Um... In fact, I don't actually. They might not be in this. No, take that back. Yeah, they hit that uh little uh sand barrier. They're still in this race in uh, 20th. So interesting note there. Uh, and we'll get that car repaired pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna pause the game real quick. Turn on our great white checkers hard. instead. We need them in case we need them. Um, and we're talking about a little bit about standings. This is gonna definitely gonna shake up standings already with the DNFs we have, which I believe has been. This list is accurate, so 32 cars left running out of the 42 that started. So 10 have DNF'd so far throughout the entire race, if you count the first half of it as well. And Jeff Jordan so far has been on top of most of these restarts. Golf Salamander has definitely lost some spots. Jonah Burridge has jumped inside to the top four. I believe he was qualified fifth. Or he didn't qualify fifth, but he was fifth coming into this rate, uh, this second half, so, another interesting note there. Again, just in case it gets all wonky. Yeah, we were talking about standings, Yoiko 10th in standings is really the best they've had of a season, and uh, still holding on, I think at this point, this is the best they can do. We talked about the cars that are struggling right now, we know that's Cody Goforth, he's currently 15th, caused that last accident. Um, then uh, I believe the other one was, it just slipped my mind. I think, oh yeah, Frank Chilton, who's also been struggling uh, specifically on restarts, trying to get that line. And he could usually definitely use a good top 10 run right now, not doing too hot in standings. Granted, being a rookie, he's currently 35th in standings coming into this race. He could definitely use a good run today. Now, still in the top 10. Yeah, despite those bad it's restarts. Not bad at all. In fact, I don't think they've had any net loss overall, but they, uh, they definitely haven't had any net gain. Let's uh, see. It looks like the 50 having a mechanical issue. About the pin. A yeah, bird had a uh, near perfect non-DNF streak last season. I think only DNF maybe I once or twice. One of the best drivers in this league. It already has a win this season. Show for Wick Rare Racing. Uh, they're probably going to go to the pit road here with their issue they're having. The 24 getting around to the bottom. Uh, hits the wall. That's an LP thing. I can't really say anything else about that. Unfortunately, this is going to happen right as we're about to go green. So he's probably going to lose a lap or two here. Need to a lap down. Eighty-two, trying to go on the high side, but went a bit too high and goes into the wall. Take a look at what he, he did. did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seeing the forty-eight back he there do the same. To, but it didn't work. Fifty uh, is out of pit road. Floor. Bird yeah. is good. Yeah, there's just people sliding it up too much on the restarts. But Bird is out of pit road, so hopefully that doesn't cut any wrecks. I also noticed the forty-eight, not a weave, also got in the wall. On the turn one, he lost some spots. If he had any in the first place, that is. Oh, Brad Stover up here, up here in second right now. Jonah Burge right there in third. Garth Salmon was recovered to fourth. Gaming Freak falling back to fifth. Away at the moment, we got Dover from Dover. Stover from Maine. Yeah, the little bit. Yeah, from Maine. I think Gar is also trying to catch up as well. 
Yeah, definitely not doing good in the standings there for them either. Currently 31st in standings. I remember they did get a top, uh, I believe, 5 last week at uh, Coca-Cola Super Speedway, so not all bad in that 26 Salamander Inc. camp, despite being a one-car organization this season. Still in top 5 as well, despite uh, the mishaps and still getting the pole. Currently in the running for most laps of the but likely that's going to go to the 42 at this point. And since the race was shortened by about uh, nine laps, you have to keep that in mind as well. <laughs> Looks like his Beko car is much better than his main car. Double speak. Yeah, they still got damage nonetheless. Hit the wall and just. Looks like they got some rear end damage. Nothing too serious. And it looks like uh, we're starting to train out. At this point. Oh, I'll know what their car is about to deal with. With nearly, I guess, less than a few laps to go. Yeah, we've passed the final quarter. I guess you would say if this were 100 laps, we can we cut off like nine of those laps, but given the circumstances, I think we managed it well. First ever uh, race, we, you know, we paused and brought back going. So we see we might have an overtake here for third. And so well, far, I think it's going to be He won the Truck Series Championship at this track. That is true. Despite all that, doesn't have a single win in this league. In fact, I believe he's the only full-time yeah, driver like from... Well. Yeah, he is the only full-time driver from this league. I know I keep saying it, I sound like a broken record. Only driver in this league who's run full-time since 2021 yet to win. It's four years. Or, well, four seasons, I guess. Or this is on that fourth season they've ran. On a single win. I believe they finished second twice. Both times coming in uh, their day, their rookie year in 2021. In the first half, left track, it would be a factor, but this one, I don't think it is. Yeah. Well, um, as it seems, it looks like he is able to defend that position. So, Kev Jordan right now. Came into this race minus 13 from the leader right now, looking to take the points lead, perhaps. And depending on where Drum Chikitty 1 and uh, Sean Ard are, could be Don Patrol Motorsports taking over the points lead with two drivers. As they've had a very stellar season, despite Drum Chikitty 1. Granted, we've talked about it. I think she won last season. Forget the track. I think it was Atlanta. But, uh... It just hasn't, yeah, hasn't been as strong as they were in 2021, but this year they've had a really strong uh, beginning of the season. be interesting to see how they carry that on to the next few races. Bobby Isaac, uh, we talked about him, has had great starts, just hasn't had the finishes to show for him. Got wrecked last week. Fortunately, did not DNF and was able to you know, give him that free pass that I had to give out. Otherwise, I'd have to DNF him, and that wouldn't seem very fair, so... They've got something to salvage out of it. Top 25 at best, it looks like right now. I mean, granted, it's not over yet, but it's looking pretty close to it. <laughs> Brad Stover got their so first. So far, Jim. Brad Stover got their first career win last season at Homestead Road Course. Oh, and it looks like we have a crash off the corner. The 10. Oh. The 10 has any having issues. The game did not throw a yellow. It looks like the 10 it may have blown a tire, exploded a tire. Let's take a look at that real quick. Oh, never mind. We got a battle here for three wide for second place. Former teammates, the 0789, 26 trying to get around the 07 is going to make that work. The 82 going to try to take advantage of that to no avail. We'll take a look at that potentially after the race, unless we get a yellow here in the later later half later stage of this event. Um, we do have overtimes on, so if there is another crash, we will have footage of it. It looks like uh, the 10 has gotten out of pit road fine, so they're still in the race. Oh, caution is now out. And, oh, the 10, the 20, the 42, your leader. Oh, the 07. They're well, the 82 almost flipped. Their car in second. 
I'm not happy with the 82, as there's a lot more happening as well. Well, let's first see what happened to Patrick Miller. I think he may have caused this coming out of Pit Road. Yeah, it looks like that is what happened. Well, let's see what caused him to come into Pit Road. What was that tire issue? What happened to cause it? Yeah, uh, no, it even happened earlier in this, I think. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, he blew a tire somewhere. Yeah, right there. You can see it go down. He's trying to get out of everyone's way. Joy paints. Oh, Joy paints heavy damage. So is Sammy to box. Sammy put in the wall. And and the leader was right uh, there too. Oh, that did right slow up. Front of... Yeah, that slowed up the leader. That could have been deadly. Let's fast forward this a little bit, as this is also the cause of our second crash that eventually did put out the yellow. And it came out right in front of traffic. <laughs> right in front of Messi. Nowhere to go. Oh, drummer chick sent it. And it got drummer chick. Then it got the Alexa 20. Gaming. And yeah, everyone piles in. Oh, speaking of our leader. Yeah, everyone piles in. Oh. Almost flips there, that 82 car. This will be it overtime. We will have overtime here. As Messi, his day is taken away. He was running, and he wasn't running too great, but was running nonetheless, and I think that was a W enough. There's nowhere to go. Straight into it. And drummer chick, nowhere to go. Right in front of Bobby Isaac, who has had a lackluster race as well. Just that spot. Just in time. And uh, we were talking about... Get nailed by him, I think. Yeah, yeah, your points leader involved in that. Sean Ard. That's, that's what it is. Yeah, in the standings. This, is gonna, this changes everything. Our DNF list has just gotten longer. And... Patience has grown to nothing. And speaking of Sean Ard, he, we were talking about him, you know, maybe winning out a, a third race, perhaps, uh, as we are going to go overtime here, it looks like. But he was perhaps looking to win a third race. Or no, it actually looks like we're going to be agreeing with two laps to go. But uh, here he is back here with the top five. He could do it. We're going to go green this time. We'll go over DNFs at the end of the red race, as I did not expect us to go green this soon. See the pace car there. A lot of cars calling it a day. You see Brad Stover no longer in the top five. He appears to have uh, lost it. And obviously, Jonah Burge as well screwed over. He does have damage from there, but... Two laps. Let's see how it goes with a two-lap shootout. A lot can happen in two laps. Oh. Lock can happen in one. BGD tries to go high again, but it doesn't work. BGD does not make it work. If we see the white, the next flag ends the race. We will see the white flag. The white flag in the air. Jeff Jordan, as we see some cars, uh, the chat button Jeff flashing. Jeff Jordan versus Dollar. But Jeff Jordan. Gonna get her down here, Dodge. Yeah, Brad Stover uh, appeared to have came back out on the racetrack after coming out of pit road, and eventually decided to call it, complete a lap yeah. per se, and then just call it a day. That w salvaged whatever positions they could have gotten. So definitely not the way you want to end your uh, race. So a little rough ending there, but yeah, that happens sometimes. Interesting view here. I like this game. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our results. So, uh, DNF. Let's just go ahead and go live here at this point so I can see so who's in and who's out. So, out of the race after that one, unfortunately, DNF's going to go to the 8207, both in the top five at that time. Unfortunately, screwed out of a good finish. The 18, the 4, the 60, the 5, 23, 20, 77, 81. And as a result, 21 cars finish, 19 on the lead lap at this very difficult short track. Surprised to see the 17 there in the top 20 despite getting involved in some wrecks. Got any last thoughts, Stark? As we look at the New York skyline into the video, that was an intense, very intense at the end. But boy, it was wild.
But give it to Jeff Jordan. He wins his first race of the season. Yep. I uh, believe he did one a uh, couple. He's actually, this is his third career win. He's won in, he won in 2022 as a part-time driver at Watkins Glen. Won last year at Chicagoland. So keeping a possible uh, at least one win a season streak alive. So we'll see if that continues. Well, for me, Dark Rain, all the people who've contributed to this, Trackmaker, all that good jazz, everyone do their credit. Um, lackluster race. First time we've ever had to cut up two parts for NR7-3. That we could possibly do. Usually uh, we'd have to send back and just restart it. But since we have you know, our ticker now, we can take a look back at that. And then we have our same game editor now. And I can get the qualify order from that. And then DNFs and whatnot. And we can... You know, have a somewhat fair part two in terms of game crashing, call it a rain delay, call it a whatever. But at the end of the day, um, keeps the races going, keeps them realistic, uh, I guess you would say, and uh, makes it something. So, all due res uh, uh, with all that said, uh, we're going to call it here and we'll see you for the next video, probably SMOS. Mm -hmm.